My fellow Americans, today the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. Breaking news, the president declaring a national emergency. The new stay-at-home order. We will shut you down. Don't think you can get on a plane or a train. We will arrest you. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. And we will take you to jail. We've got to get them vaccinated. Or we will keep you in a facility longer. As the world descended into synchronized tyranny, I began to ask myself, how did they get everyone to go along with this? Oh, it feels so good. Obsessed with finding the answer, I began studying every moment in recorded history where masses of people devolved into a state of self-destruction. The only mechanism that could explain what was happening in society was what is usually referred to as mass formation. We had to start doing things for the greater good of society. It's about how I love my neighbor. They weaponized human compassion, and they see it as a virtue because it demonstrates their complete obedience to the group. Screw your freedom. It looks great. You feel great while you're being used. When someone is in a state of fear, that person cannot think rationally. By creating the illusion that says everything is fearful, we can manipulate the population. People in power always use that, right? Would say never let a good crisis go to waste. Here we are now with an economy in crisis, but with an incredible opportunity. Unprecedented opportunity. For a reset. Your Royal Highnesses, distinguished heads of state and government, the future is built by us. We need a great reset. We are going towards a world where the people are owning nothing. If we don't own anything, well, who does? When they say, you'll be happy, what they mean is, you'll be enslaved. Today, we have the technology to hack human beings on a massive scale. Who masters those technologies will be the master of the world. Those who control the data control the future, not just of humanity, but the future of life itself. There are forces using fear and isolation to induce mass psychosis. I don't want you to be hopeful. Science tells us we have nine years. I want you to panic. Environmental doom. Fire, storms, and deadly floods. Terrorism. White terrorism. White supremacy. Mass shootings. Mass shootings. And nuclear, nuclear conflict. conflict. I want you to feel the fear I feel every day. What matters most to you? I think what matters most to me is freedom. Whatever political party you identify with, you are welcome here. It's not the government that caused this. What caused it was our being asleep at the wheel. Whatever color, culture, or creed you identify with, you are welcome here. And so we have to awaken, we have to arise. If you are vaccinated or unvaccinated, you are welcome here. Open your eyes. This is America the Beautiful and it's worth fighting for. It's time to wake up. Our freedom is worth fighting for. People cannot go back into the matrix now. A lot of people are trying to. They can't.